Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 of my favorite high-end products that I actually think is worth the money. I haven't done a video like this and I thought it would be really fun because for me personally I think that there's a lot of like high-end makeup that is really good but that you can find dupes for at the drugstore that are more affordable. But these are 10 products, actually there's 11, um, that I personally have not been able to find any like dupes for but if you guys have please let me know in the comments down below because as you guys are going to see most of these products are pretty dang expensive but yeah as always i would love to know if there's also any products that you guys feel like are up there for you that you have not found a dupe for so let's go ahead and jump in and get started and the first brand i'm actually going to start out with is pat mcgrath so I know that again this is a very extensive brand but I do have a few things that I'm going to talk about that I have not been able to find a dupe for. The first is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. For me personally this is one of the most I feel like unique foundations on my skin. So I have oily acne prone skin. This is a foundation I've got on today. But this gives you light to medium coverage so if you are someone who wants full full coverage this is not going to be for you. But it covers just enough while also letting your imperfections peek through where it gives that skin like appearance like skin fetish that's like I feel like the best way to like explain this foundation because it looks so skin like on the skin and it's one of those that's not very matte it's not super dewy and that's something that I struggle to find like that more affordable I can find light to medium coverage in more affordable foundations but they're either I feel like really matte or they're really dewy this is like that perfect in between. I will say I tend to get a little bit oily in my T-zone, but as long as I set it, this lasts on me all day. And I feel like out of all my foundations, I get the most compliments when I wear this one because I think a lot of people's like, oh my gosh, your skin, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, I have foundation on, but I love this. I have yet to find a dupe for this. Like, but if you guys know, please let me know. Cause like I said, this hurts. This hurts when I purchase it. Well, really it hurts when I purchase anything from this brand because it's so expensive. <laughs> All right, so the next thing by that brand is their lip liner. So this is in the shade Contour, and there's something about this. I don't know what it is, but the formula, even though it's like a pencil, it's still like creamy, but at the same time, it's long wearing. The closest dupe that I have actually found to these are these by L'Oreal. So this is the Color Riche Matte ones. These are pretty darn similar but they are not as long lasting as these. But if you are looking for a dupe, this is a good one. Like I said, it's, it's, I don't know. They're not an exact dupe. This is just more long wearing. And, but like I said, amazing dupe. If you're looking for something more affordable, what I feel like this is probably the only brand that I feel like I can justify paying that much for a lip liner. So again, oh, just absolutely love it. All right, I have two more things from that brand and then I'll stop. So I actually don't have a new one of these. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in Light. As you guys can see, it's completely empty. It's sitting over in my empties basket and I picked it out. I love this. This gives the most, I want to say like ethereal look to your under eyes. It doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy. Like this, you guys know how I feel about my Viseart one. Like this compares like this is just incredibly beautiful underneath the eyes and still to this day I have not fi found a drugstore under eye powder that I actually like I've tried a few and like I said I do try to use my products up now so I don't like to waste it but nothing that compares to this or my Viseart one but like I'm telling you guys this is this is one of the best powders for your under eyes like I'm not sure yeah under eye powder I was about to say you might be able to use this all over your face but I you gotta try it. You gotta try it. It's absolutely amazing. Now, the last product I'm going to mention from them is their, I don't know, is this their highlighter palette? Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. So this actually comes with three, but I only use one of these. I use this middle shade right here. It's kind of like a goldy, like blue shade. These are, they're so unique. Like even when you touch them, I feel like they feel like a cream ish powder creamy powder they're so hard to describe but they are so beautiful and like incredibly reflective this one's just too dark for me but i will swatch that one for you and this one for you as, as well but then this one's just a little bit too like pinky for me but this one right here i think looks so stunning and these are underrated i feel like i don't hear anyone talk about these but these also work incredibly well as eyeshadows but it's a formula to me that's so unique i kind of want to you know what i might actually get on their website and see like if they've got these in singles and if they've got some other shades because I would love to try other shades in this formula because it 
again, just incredibly unique formula that I personally have not found a like drugstore dupe for. Again, there are a lot of cream highlighters from the drugstore that I do feel like are okay, but there's none that has this exact formula. Like I'm obsessed. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. All right, so next is another brand that I do feel like is a little more expensive. So this is the Patrick Ta for face. This is the bronzer. You get a powder bronzer right here and then you actually get a cream bronzer. I'm trying not to blind you because this whole packaging is reflective, but I'm specifically talking about this bronzer. So again, I have just been loving cream products, but it's really hard if you have oily skin to find cream products that work well. This is one of those cream products that's not overly creamy. So I feel like it's very easy to like blend where it doesn't look muddy but also it's light at the same time where you can build this up I don't know there's just something that's that's quite unique I feel like about this formula and again I haven't found any other like even a lot of like other high-end cream bronzers I do like them but this one specifically I definitely like this formula and I feel like it is worth the money because I've yet to find another formula especially from the drugstore that like I don't want to sit here and say this has like a waxier texture but kind of like when I like touch it, that's what I think about, but like not in a bad way. It's still incredibly creamy. Again, absolutely love this. Would like to try some more stuff from this brand. I did try their lip glosses out, which I do like, but again, I don't quite think they're worth the money, but again, sorry, I'm trying not to blind you guys. I love this. So definitely if you haven't tried that out, add it to your list. <laughs> All right. The next product you guys probably seeing, because I just also filmed my favorites video. This is from Hourglass. Again, I'll probably blind you guys. I love these blushes. Like their formula again is so unique and again I don't want to talk too much about it because if you did watch that favorites video you see me go on and on about it but if you have oily skin and you are looking for a cream bronzer this is it so sorry I got a cat hair on mine <laughs> this is it this looks incredibly beautiful on the skin it's really easy to blend out but again you can go in like with a brush right on top of here and then tap it and it's just it blends without looking patchy, without looking greasy, and it lasts all day. And it's one of those that doesn't make my cheeks look like oily throughout the day. I just, I love this. And it's especially as I feel like you get older, like I'll be turning 31 this year. You, you want products that are more, I don't want to say dewy because I do still have oily skin, but more lifelike to your skin. And I feel like cream products kind of give you that. But I haven't found any other brand that I personally feel like has a formula like this that's more affordable that has a formula like this that just looks and wears and works as well as this one. So again, Hourglass 2, I've tried a lot of their products and I don't like a lot of them, but this is up there. This is probably up there with, would I say my top 10 favorite products of all times? Probably. Yeah, I definitely feel like this probably would be up there. All right, now the next product I'm gonna mention is some eyeshadows that I feel like um, people are gonna disagree with me about, but Viseart eyeshadows like did you guys did everybody forget about this brand like I pulled this palette out it's actually the palette I've got on my um lash line underneath here and the gold shade that's right here is in here this is the golden hour palette but like I like all of their eyeshadows but I'm just showing you guys a few um sorry this packaging really is hard to open oh there we go so again I don't want to blind you guys I love these I specifically probably like the mattes the best because I feel like the mattes blend so effortless, effortlessly, excuse me, <laughs> that they give you the most soft eyeshadow look. Like I feel like that, like there was a time when we wanted super intense eyeshadows and you still want eyeshadows with pigment, like these have pigment, but like the blendability of these and I feel like the ability to come in and build these up slowly gives that very soft look to the eyes and like that's definitely what I'm into. I've also got like their little mini petite ones in here. This is a peach one. See, I don't know if this is just Petite Pro 4 is what this one is. Gorgeous peach shades, which I love against my blue eyes, but I really like these. And I feel like people kind of like, I don't know, you either love Viseart or you hated it, but I feel like for someone who really likes to sit there and slowly build up eyeshadows and create a soft, like gradient look, then these are great eyeshadows. And again, I know that they are expensive, but I feel like they're worth everything. I've tried the Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I don't like them, and I feel if you're willing to pay that price for her eyeshadows, these are way better, in my opinion. All right, guys, I have another foundation. So this is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Longwear High Coverage Foundation. Again, I know this is another very expensive high-end brand, but this is a foundation that, again, till this day, I still cannot find a dupe for. So this is a really nice matte foundation. 
It's not flat matte. You definitely look like you have some life to your skin. But I think what makes this one so unique that I personally like is that as I wear this throughout the day and I kind of start to get oily, you know, some foundations can really start to break down. This doesn't. And it's like this lets my natural oil seep through in a slow way, if that makes sense or if that's possible. I don't know. But this one, again, I feel like if I want to gravitate towards something more full coverage, this is definitely what I'm going for. Like special occasions because, again, this, this hurts this hurts me. This hurts my soul when I have to pay this much for a foundation. So, <laughs> um, with that same brand, I do actually want to mention their like lip mastros. Is this what these are called? Yeah. So I have several shades. I get usually like the little trios that come out with, but I actually got um, like some. The first one I ever tried this was a teeny tiny mini one, and I fell in love with it. I think I got it like you know back when like. Sephora and Ulta used to actually send you um, like sample products without you having to ask that you wanted samples or only pick three. You guys remember those days. I got one of these and I have loved them ever since. They're really nice. They kind of have more of like, I don't want to say a moussey texture because I don't really love a moussey texture, but like a mousse when you first start applying them and then they kind of turn almost into like a liquid. I will say my favorite two shades are 415, which is like this pinky red and then this really nice like neutral pink and 103 so this is like a deeper brown which I don't think looks the most flattering on my skin tone but this one is in the shade 209 in case you guys are wondering but these I feel like are worth every cent and again I have not found any from the drugstore that has a formula like this I will say I do think that there are other liquid lipstick brands out there from the drugstore like the NYX liquid suede ones oh my god those, those were good like I haven't tried this in a long time maybe I should purchase some more and retry them out but I have two more products here and they're both from NARS I consider NARS a quite expensive brand I feel like they're more expensive than like Clinique, Too Faced, Smashbox all of that but they're not as expensive as like Giorgio Armani, um, Pat McGrath, Hourglass but so they're like right in between those two their audacious lipsticks are worth every single penny. This is a limited edition color I have right now. I think this is the Claudette. It has really cute packaging. Did this come out last year for Valentine's Day, I think, but watch this. I don't know. That just, I just love these. But I love the formula. This is the red I have on today, in case you guys are wondering. Really nice, creamy. I feel like as long as I wear a lip line, this doesn't fade. This doesn't feather. It's super comfortable on the lips. I can barely tell that I'm even, like, wearing it. Like, the formula of these are just so amazing. And I'm trying to think who it was that actually got me to try these out years ago. I think it was Kathleen Lights. She was talking about how these were like so good. I'm pretty sure it was her. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, I'm sorry. But like these are, they're amazing. The packaging's really nice, but the formula is even better. And all right, lastly are these NARS, um, I think they're like oil tints or oil lip tints, oil infused lip tints. So I have Orgasm and Laguna. So I know you're probably thinking who would wear a um, lip gloss like this, but this is Orgasm right here that I've swatched on the back of my hand. If you guys can see, sorry, that's like from where I swatched. And then I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you guys, which is Laguna. But see, these are so sheer. They're so sheer that like that it adds just like a hint. But these to wear on their own feels so good. They have a little bit of grip to them, so they're not like slipping and sliding. I feel like they're like a lip gloss and like an oil tint infused together. So you still got that grip, but you get like that good, like hydrating feeling of the oil. Like I love these. Like I don't feel like I ever even heard anybody talk about these, but these are amazing. I love these. Like you guys should definitely try these out. But yeah, I feel like I've told you guys to try all of this out. So I'm sorry if that was like repetitive, but um, anyways, I hope you guys have a good evening. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.